Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and it's a green week, slightly green, uh, 11,000 up on the week, 4.5% uh, nearly, uh, still sort of down on the monthly, uh, 35,000, so a little, uh, little way to go just yet, but uh, yeah, it's a nice start. Uh, not too much news-wise happening, but uh I didn't really spot this sort of when it came out. Um, the Coinbase assets under management. Uh, so they split out retail and institutional uh, assets that they hold. And the institutional has been going up faster than retail, which I guess isn't all that surprising. They seem to be sort of the preferred um, platform for institutions to get in. But uh, yeah, 17 billion dollars uh q3 last year up to 100 139 billion dollars for the institutions retail have gone up sort of a little less 19 to 116 and just looking at the i guess the assets on the platform uh, they don't split that between uh, retail and institutional but uh, sort of bitcoin 42 percent now of the assets on the platform uh, i would wager that uh, probably institutions hold more bitcoin than retail do so i mean you could probably say 50 percent bitcoin um, so of that institutional that is 70 billion dollars which is sort of 8% of the supply, so 8% of the total Bitcoin supply is held by institutions just on Coinbase. Obviously, they'll hold it in sort of other areas, ETFs and Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Some might even hold it directly. So there is quite a lot of uh, institutional adoption so far. Uh, and then obviously, sort of a good part of the total supply is sort of lost forever. Uh, estimates of sort of three to five million depending on who you listen to and you've got a million uh, bitcoin in the satoshi wallet so you do start to uh, see the point that there isn't all that much sort of available to everyone to buy so if more money comes in it's just chasing sort of smaller and smaller available supply uh, and if you look at ethereum so Ethereum's 22% on the total platform. Again, I would sort of wager that uh, institutions would hold more uh, Ethereum than retail. And then this 33% of other crypto assets is probably more the retail side holding Shiba Inu and all of the... Uh, well, I don't know if Shiba is on Coinbase, actually, it might be. But yeah, the more speculative tokens, I would guess. Um, so 25% say, you know, as, as a rough figure of that 139 billion, um, yeah, you're looking at sort of 35 billion in uh, Ethereum for institutions. So yeah, that's sort of 9% ish of the total Ethereum supply, which again is very, very bullish. I thought for institutions to be holding quite that much. So, yeah, I just thought that was a, an interesting point. I guess their Q4 uh, numbers will come out shortly, maybe sort of end of the month or sort of early February. So it be interesting to see how that progresses. It's gone up a hell of a lot from Q2 to so, uh, Q3 for the uh, institutions, sort of 40%. So, yeah, I thought that was really, uh, really good news. Uh, just having a look at the coins for the week. So Bitcoin, two point eight percent. Not uh, not a huge move, but nice to see. Uh, Ethereum, six percent. Not too bad. Not really seeing a huge amount of news for uh, for the big coins. Uh, Cardano has had a good week. Sixteen percent up. Just touching a pound. Um, seems to be sort of they're releasing some more um, apps, some more sort of potential lending apps, DeFi and that sort of thing, with sort of the smart contract launch earlier in uh, earlier in the year. They're now sort of finally getting some uh, decent applications going on there. Uh, still seems slow going, but uh, people are sort of 
seeing the potential. Um, but they do need to get on with sort of DeFi lending and uh, potentially even sort of NFTs and that sort of thing just to sort of catch up to Ethereum and um, sort of Solana and Polkadot, really. So, yeah, it's sort of been uh, a promise, really, all this time. And, uh, yeah, they're now potentially starting to deliver. So that's good. Um, OMG Network, though, 20% up for the week. Uh, I haven't really seen any news to cause this at all. So probably just sort of thinly traded um, markets. Easy for... Uh, I have seen one sort of supposedly whale, Ethereum whale buying, but uh, didn't seem all that much. So two or three million dollars worth. So, yeah, I can't see that would cause that. Uh, Litecoin, 11.5% up. Not too bad. Power Ledger down for the week, but that does seem to do its own thing. Basic attention token, 2.5% up. Not too bad. XRP, 3%. Stellar has barely moved, 0.27%. Tron up 5.5%, pretty good. Boba Network, sort of moving, I guess, up with uh, with OMG Network. So that's good, 9%. Solana, 6.5% up. And I have put another £500 into Solana and into the NFTs. So uh, one of the uh, ones that I shoe uh, in the recent video, Vishiv. Uh, they actually minted a small amount of extra uh, NFTs and I bought two of those and yeah, still got sort of a little bit, uh, a little bit of powder dry ready for any sort of bargains that come up. So yeah, I put me, uh, me deposit into that. Uh, new cipher, 2% down. Cocos, 2% down. Internet computer not doing too well, but again, seems to be sort of disconnected from uh, the rest of the market, really. It was going up when uh, everything was going down recently. So that's quite good. Uncorrelated. EOS, 3.6% up for the week. Dash, 3.8% down. Audius, 10% up nearly, not too bad. Haven't seen their uh, sort of numbers improving really though on the uh, their user numbers on the platform. Still seems a bit stagnant. Uh, Anchor, barely moved. Band protocol, 13.6%, not too bad, but it is a very small cap. Same with Quanstamp, 12%. That is a really, really small cap, so not hard to move for this amount and crow coin 2.3 percent up uh, still as i say still not really doing anything on that platform just yet but uh will be later on hopefully so yeah that's the uh, that's the week bit of a short update this week but yeah see what you uh, see what you think let us know in the comments and uh, like and subscribe see you soon